Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Broman Brapsidian. Yeah, I am at Motorcycles of Greensboro in the Ducati section, of course. This is the cafe racer uh, I have been digging for a while, and they are gonna put an exhaust on it, so I figured, let's go film it. Why not, right? And the exhaust that we're putting on, that's it, that's the Terminioni. Terminioni, that's a big single can, and the little thingy, not the header, but yeah. So that, that, that's those are the two things that are gonna go uh, go on the bike. And what you also get with this is you get the Ducati tune to go with the exhaust. Now look at her, man. She looks pretty. She's very pretty. So this is how it sounds stock. And that's our superstar Troy. He's gonna be doing the fancy exhaust installed, so we'll let him get to it. Hi right. Troy! Hello. <laughs> We're gonna start off with, I mean by we I mean Troy, he's gonna start off with taking off the current exhaust or the stock exhaust. There's gonna be a lot of bolts and screws and whatnot, so he's gonna get on with it and look at him man i love how he has everything uh spread out and it's easy easy for him to pick stuff up and uh yeah so the exhaust actually this it's got a big can underneath and all that holds all that good stuff so we're gonna use a little stand here to give some support and so that it doesn't dangle off or break break parts off as we go along with it and yeah there's tons of nuts and bolts <laughs> that go all around so we're gonna speed this up a little bit and yeah man Troy he's a he's a superstar <laughs> and of course you gotta un unbolt it from the other side as well and then just wiggle wiggle it for you like wiggle 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 come on man let's go yeah there you go there you go look at how massive massive this thing is you only see this side from the outside <laughs> but then because it's big and heavy, man. Wow. Yeah, and now starts the fun part to put the new exhaust on. Again, he's gonna. I love how he does it, man. Uh, Troy, like he lays out all the parts that need to go on and all the bolts and whatnot. I guess that's how professionals do it. If it were me doing it, I'd be all over the place. Uh, checking for fitment, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and look at it. it, it already seems so much smaller than the than the stock exhaust. So much smaller, the little can part at the bottom. And checking for fitment, I'm sure this is not gonna be just one shot. Yeah, nope. <laughs> uh, so I'm playing around with it, I guess. Trying to force its way in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, things seldom just slide into place. It's seldom, seldom, seldom slide into place. <laughs> but look, he's I think he's got it. He's got it. Yeah, and just just look at it. This is so much cleaner, so much smaller, so much neater than the stock. Hmm. Looks so nice. Looks nice. <laughs> And you know, I think Troy is just giving his last look over, a once over, making sure everything fits right. Yup, gotta get that sticker off, man. Gotta get that sticker off. <laughs> Yo, boy. Yup, final touches, man. Final touches, all the springs and whatnot. What are the springs for? Keeps everything together. Ah. There's no clamps. Looks nice, looks nice. All right, so now since the exhaust is on, is it done, Troy? Not quite yet. What else, what else do we need to do? I see the bike's We're on. We're changing the fueling map because it's no longer a homogulated exhaust system. It's for race use only. Okay. So you get better fueling, better throttle response, more nice. power, louder. Oh, louder, nice. And so it's, we're getting the up maps and yeah, and that's the, that's the last step. You see the bike's turned on. There's all kinds of leads running out from it into the computer. It's gonna be Frankenstein once it comes out. But, yeah. It's making noises on its own. Yeah. It's happy. 
all right so it's finally done i think all the up maps updates done as he pulls it out you know we're gonna go out and check it out for ourselves in person so a couple of things change after this so when you start her up it says race <laughs> instead of just the scrambler logo that's pretty cool that's what you get with the up map and uh up map with the exhaust look it's pretty cool let's go ahead and start her up and take a listen It sounds pretty sweet. It sounds pretty sweet. But let's take it out on the road. Uh, let's take it out on the road and let's take a listen, shall we? <laughs> yeah. So we've been getting a little bit of rain. So pardon the raindrops. <laughs> but let's check this puppy out. Ah, it sounds so good. Take a listen. Just listen to to me just cruising. I like that sound. Oh, it pops and pop, the little pops. <laughs> All right, let's give it some gas and see how it how it likes it. Hey, okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm sure there's a definite uh, improvement in the throttle response too because I know with my V2 there was so I'm assuming I'm quite safe to assume that there would be some with this oh listen to that twin <laughs> oh yeah man oh yeah Troy you've done such an amazing job my man such an amazing job <laughs> well I gotta get back to the store because uh, it's about to close and it's about to start pouring down so let me go back to them and uh, hopefully I get to review this soon and hopefully this doesn't sell soon so I can get to review it <laughs> alright guys and yeah and that's the reason why you should get these things done at a licensed Ducati uh, dealership or a service center because you get the up maps and all that fun stuff so keep your knees in the breeze and i'll see you soon a bro out yeah.